What's happening, ghoulies? Welcome to the Voina Experience. Thank you so much for tuning in and subscribing to our little channel here. Uh, I apologize if you hear some background noise. My, my dog's running around and there's fireworks going on outside. Uh, so I apologize if any of that's going on, but it is what it is. Um, but thank you so much. We've actually had a lot of new subscribers join our channel here in the last few weeks. And I'm thinking that if we're able to get to 500 subscribers by the end of the Halloween season this year, uh, we'll do another giveaway. Um, we did one last Halloween season when we hit our first 100 subscribers. We gave away Shorty's Club from Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Uh, Spirit Halloween had made a prop of the club, and we gave that away to, I believe, Dark Hearts on YouTube was our lucky winner of that. So congratulations, Dark Hearts. I hope you are enjoying your Shorty's Club. Um, so when we hit 500, we will do another one. Uh, now we can't do, you know, big animatronics or things like that, like some of the bigger channels can do yet. Um, but we'll do something when we hit 500. So help share the channel, get us out there. And when we hit 500, we'll do something fun. But that's my dog. <laughs> but for this video, I thought we would jump on the computer again and take a look at some of the newer props from Spirit Halloween that are coming out this year. I wanted to do a video in a retail store because I had seen on Facebook that a lot of the retail stores were starting to bring out their Halloween stuff. Um, at Home is one of those retail stores and we've got one here in, in our area in Ohio. But unfortunately they don't have much out to do a video on so I thought we'll just jump online and look at some of the props from Spirit Halloween. I know that this information is already out in the world. There's tons of videos. You guys have probably already seen all of this stuff already. That's fine. I'm not trying to give anything new here. I'm not trying to do any new information. I just want to get our reactions at the Voina experience, um, give our reactions to some of these newer animatronics, grab something to drink, and let's take a look at some animatronics from Spirit Halloween. So we're just going to be going through uh, some of the animatronics here. Um, we're not going to go through the whole list because a lot of these we're already familiar with from last year. But So we're just going to be doing the newer ones that are out uh, for this season. We're obviously familiar with Pennywise and Ghostface. Um, but it looks like Barry would be the first on the newer stuff list. Uh, Barry is a four-foot animatronic retailing for $170. Looks like he's a... Uh, zombie, ghoul, skeleton guy sitting in a cage. Uh, I love monsters in a cage. We actually have uh, a little tiny monster in a cage prop. Not an animatronic like Barry here, but certainly love monsters in a cage. Let's check out his description and see what Barry's doing. Let's see, Barry's an animatronic, zombie growls, flapping jaw, and upper body that wildly shakes back and forth. So I don't know if he does a whole lot. Let's take a look at his video. So yeah, it looks like Barry is just sitting in the cage and growling and uh, making some snarling noises and shaking back and forth. So he doesn't appear to do a whole lot unless he's got some other things that aren't shown in the video. Sometimes they don't always show everything that the animatronics do in their videos, which is weird. But um, first impression, I'm like not overly excited about it. He's cool. He's creepy. So let's head back to our main page and check out, let's see, we got Harvester here. We've very cool animatronic, but again, we're very familiar with him. So let's move on to Dr. Illum. I hope I'm saying that right. If I don't say something right, please leave a comment or something. Let me know how to pronounce the animatronics, but I feel like that's right. Uh, five and a half feet going for 219. Um, and he looks wicked. I definitely am digging his glowing green eyes uh, and the whole like monster scientist guy I like the creepy experimental monsters and science and stuff um some of his pictures take a look at what yeah like he's cool looking i definitely dig his look altogether. let's see what his description has to say 
All right. He's, yeah, green glowing LED lies, gurgling screams, and rocking torso. Um, so let's take a look at Dr. Illum's video and see what kind of creepy goodies he's got for us here. Oh, yes. All right. I am, uh, wow. Okay. Yeah. Definitely a fan of Dr. Illum. Um, I am digging the whole, like, I don't know. Is he like a, is he turning into some sort of monster? Is it like a Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde? I don't know. Crazy scientist, monster, animatronic is definitely winning for me. Um, he is 220. So, I mean, that's, he's pretty standard price for what he does. I think that's pretty fair. Um, I hope he says a couple of different phrases or has some additional noises. Usually they give him one or two different things, maybe sometimes three, who knows. But even as he is, I think he is a really cool animatronic, and I'm definitely looking forward to seeing him in the store this year. I especially like his eyes and all the green. green green's my favorite, so I, I, I love all the the green glowing goopiness that he's got going on. Green going ghoulie. He's a green glowing ghoulie. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Can you guys see those fireworks? They're going crazy out there. Um, next up is the six foot lunging reaper. Um, now his picture here is pretty creepy looking. Uh, he definitely has a really cool look to him. Let's see his similar stills. Yeah, he's really cool. And he's six feet tall. He's got a, the whole, the whole outfit looks really cool for him. I definitely like his look a lot. I think his costuming is really sweet. His huge, tall scythe or sickle or whatever you want to call that um, is definitely cool and creepy looking. Let's see what his description is talking about. Uh, stands six feet tall, plastic scythe, um, digit, digit eye technology. So I'm guessing his eyes is probably going to be like the Grimm from last season with the crazy eyes. His eyes light up and move along with his mouth that speak up to four chilling phrases. So he's got four phrases. We'll probably only see one or two in the video. And that's all it says for his description. So let's take a look at the Lunging Reapers video and see what he is all about. He looks really super cool. So let's see. I have come to guide one of you into the afterlife. Come into my embrace and meet your fate. <laughs> Don't worry, I will return for you soon enough. Okay, yeah, he's he's kind of cool. Um, like I said, I think we only got just one or two phrases there, I don't know. Um, he definitely looks cool. He sounds cool. I love his voice. I love his eyes. I like the way he moves. I kind of feel the lunging effect was a little underwhelming. Um considering like that his name is six foot lunging reaper and it was just sort of like a little bit of a uh um but uh other than that i think he's really cool i don't know if i'll particularly you know pick him up he's retailing it looks like 280 um so i don't know i kind of i thought it, maybe if he's got a, i thought it'd be a better lunging effect maybe a quicker lunging effect like hugs had a good lunging effect um yeah so i don't know we'll see Next, I've they got this Grave Grabber animatronic. I don't know if this is new, but I've certainly not seen it before myself. So it's new to me. Um, and I'm telling you, the picture here looks extremely creepy. If you take a look at this picture, the, the eyes and the way they've got him set up in this photo, um, he looks really cool. Um, I like a good zombie. I like a good creepy looking zombie. So let's just take a look at the video and get an idea about what he's all about. Yeah, he's definitely cool. Uh, <laughs> and for 140, um, he's kind of on my hit list. I, I think he looks really cool. I think he would look really cool coming out of a porch or something, um, I got a really neat place I could probably put him. I, I like him a lot. Don't know what I'm gonna be getting this year, but the Grave Grabber is one that I'm kind of looking at. He sounds cool, he looks cool. I don't know how many different sound effects he makes, doesn't tell me, um, 
but the Grave Grabber is definitely on my list for sure. All right, let's keep the action moving now with the five and a half foot caretaker animatronic. Um, I think this one had come out um, maybe like near the end of last season. I don't remember exactly if it did or not. However, I don't ever recall seeing it anywhere. Um, and I don't think I saw it on the page until maybe halfway through the season last year or maybe shortly after. Um, but I was not a fan of this particular looking animatronic because his knees look super weird. Like if you see, like, it looks like, I don't really know what this is supposed to like, was this a shovel or what is this? I don't know. Let's take a look at his video. There you are. I've been looking for you all night. <laughs> I've come for you in regards to a serious matter. A very grave matter. Take a good look at my face. It will be the last thing you ever see. Right before I seal your coffin for your eternal slumber. Sweet dreams. <laughs> yeah. See, like, I even got bored watching that video. Um, my dog even was just making noise. But, like, I, I don't know. This, this animatronic does not hit for me at, like, at all. There's nothing about this animatronic that I like. I, I, I mean, he looks creepy. He's got some creepy looking eyes. His his artwork and his face, you can see here, is really good. Like the detail is really nice in his face. But as an animatronic, I, I pass all together. Like it was boring. It wasn't creepy. Um, it looks weird. I mean, like, I feel like it just looks uh, overall just a very strange looking animatronic. The, the knees here, this shovel looks like a... I don't even know what it looks like, but it doesn't look like a shovel. And his phrases weren't even creepy. This is just a, a complete miss for me. So I'm gonna pass on the caretaker altogether. I don't. I don't want. I'm not gonna look for it. I mean, I'll get videos of it if we see it in the store for those of you who do like it. Um, next up is Cellar Dweller. Uh, Cellar Dweller is looking really cool. Um, they've got some really neat designs on this, and uh, I, I mean, I, I just love the, the clothes, I love the, the eyes, I love just his whole look is really cool in my opinion, uh, and he's seven feet tall. Um, the description for Cellar Dweller says, animatronic has light up eyes that'll pierce your soul, as well as lifelike arms that'll raise and lower. His head and mouth move as he speaks four spooky phrases, so you get four phrases with this guy, very cool. Let's check out his video and see what he does. This dank old house is oozing with the foul stench of rotten souls. It's kept me thriving as long as I hide down here with the rats. I'm happy to share with you if you have the stomach for it. <laughs> All right, I mean, not bad. Um, I guess I was a little, maybe expecting a little something different from it. I don't know, like it, it, it seemed kind of um, rushed to, to, I don't know, I don't know. It, see, it, it, it looked a lot like it was just, you may, it, it, <laughs> it looked like it was just a mask on a robotic skeleton, which is what it is, but it shouldn't, you know, look like <laughs> <laughs> it's like it was. I'm very. It's like I'm very aware that I'm looking at an animatronic and not an actual ghoul. Um, it, it looked really fake to me. I don't know. What do you guys think? Leave a comment about uh, Cellar Dweller. Um, he looked very fake. The movement was a little like just like grim, but not as cool as grim. Like it again, a little underwhelming for what I for three forty nine. You know what I mean? I mean, I know it says four phrases, but. Um, it just looked kind of cheap to me. I don't know. That's just my opinion. Um, I have to see him in the store. Maybe that was just the video they had. I don't know. We'll see him in store, hopefully, and uh, we'll maybe get a better idea of what some of his phrases are. I just, I guess I just expected something different from him. He looked cool from this picture, but like the uh, execution just didn't hit for me. I don't know. 
Little Nestor, I believe, came out at the end of the season last year, so I'm pretty sure we all know Little Nestor. He swings back and forth. Um, we are very familiar with the Jumping Spiders. I love the Jumping Spider. Um, Mr. Salty, I don't think he was out last year. I don't recall seeing a Mr. Salty. Let's check him out. This is Mr. Salty, 349, six feet tall. But look, he's got like two uh, two clowns here, like a big guy and a little guy. Looks like his coat's closed, and then he opens it up to reveal this little dude. That looks pretty cool. Um, let's see what his description says. Mr. Salty lights up eyes, moving mouth, and can swing open his arms and gives you a surprise you'd never expect. He says, oh, looks like he's got about four or five phrases. Yeah, five different phrases that he says. Five phrases, man, that's a lot. <laughs> but for 349 and only being six feet tall, I feel that the five phrases is a good trade-off. Plus you do get like two creepy looking clowns there. Let's check out the video and see what Mr. Salty is all about. I'll bet you my clown knows that you've never seen this before. Hey! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> Good one, Willie. You even surprised me that time. Hey, have you seen my little pal? He was around here somewhere. Boogie boogie! I gotcha! <laughs> <laughs> ah, you almost <laughs> got him that time, Willie. <laughs> <laughs> okay okay i like mr salty um man that that's the one <laughs> there's something about these clown animatronics that get me i don't know if i mentioned it uh, last season my favorite animatronic from last season was wacky mole uh, i loved wacky mole and but i i am digging mr salty 349 is a bit steep but i don't know i i kind of like him kind of digging Mr. Salty. I hope that I get a chance to see Mr. Salty in one of the stores. Now, if you're new to the channel, uh, as many of you have been recently, um, we tour all over Northeast Ohio for Spirit Halloween stores. And we also hit a few others like Home Depot. I go more locally to the Home Depots and things like that, at home, Lowe's, Walmart, that kind of stuff. Uh, but just like everybody else, we, we go to all the Spirit Halloweens in our area and we just kind of find what kind of cool animatronics that we can. And I'm hoping to see Mr. Salty in the lineup this year. All right, so here's Wacky Mole. <laughs> Wacky Mole was my favorite. I, I loved him. There was a haunt around here, a uh, Hunter's Haunted House. Uh, if you go back on the channel, you'll see a video that we did for last Halloween of, of Hunter's Haunted House. Um, they've got a Wacky Mole and a lot of other animatronics too. You should check out the video because Wacky Mole was all decked up in the neon lights and he looked really cool and I, I love Wacky Mole. There's also the uh, Bloody Bag of Jokes, which is a re-release. I like Bloody Bag of Jokes, not one I'm going to rush out to get, but he, he looks all right and cool. Um, of course, we all know Bubba, Man's Possessed Friend. We got the Sitting Scarecrow. Henry Hustle was out last year, along with Harriet Hustle. Um, what else? We got Jerry. He looks new. I don't recall seeing Jerry from last year, so let's pop open Jerry. He's a five and a half foot animatronic, uh, going for two hundred bucks. And looks like he's a zombie. Features red LED light up lights, eyes, and upper body that rocks left and right to catch your guests off guard when they least expect it. Uh, looks like he's a zombie with a hatchet in his hand. He looks kind of cool. Um, the zombie, oh, I like his foot. Check out his foot. He has like the dragging foot right here. Oh, I love that. I dig that a lot. Let's, let's scroll that down some bits so we can see that foot. Look at that foot. <laughs> let's check out Jerry's video. <sighs> Okay, you know, not bad. Um, I don't hate it. I don't love it. I, I feel like I would like it more if maybe, um, like maybe his mouth moved or he just did something a little more than rocking back and forth. Um, maybe his arm moves. I don't know. I, I just kind of feel like he needed to do something a little more for me. Um, just again, a little, little underwhelming. 
but not awful. Uh, it's, it's definitely not the worst zombie that I've ever seen. And it's not bad. I mean, five and a half foot for 200 bucks. And I, I do love the dragging foot. I'm not going to lie to you guys. I do love that a lot. All right. Uh, what else we got here? We got, we got Baphomet and Krampus. We know Baphomet and Krampus. I don't know about this guy. Did we? Was this guy out last year? Uh, the six foot cuddles the clown animatronic. I don't recall seeing it. Um, I don't think it was out last year. Uh, it looks kind of new. It's huge. It's got a giant head. Look at that head. I mean, like, look at the size of that boy's head. <laughs> That's a So I Married an Axe Murder reference if you don't know that movie. Um, he looks freaking creepy with these hands that are clown heads and his giant clown head. Uh, what does this guy do? I don't think I've ever seen him before, so let's take a look. Um, animatronic turning from side to side and lifting his arms up and down with his eyes that are light up eyes. And a moving mouth. Okay, so this guy should be kind of cool. Let's check him out real quick and see what we got going on. Come with us. We will be having so much fun soon. Our favorite places are dark forests and narrow alleyways. I will tear your unhappiness apart and leave only joy. <laughs> okay, that is a winner. Oh my gosh, I love that animatronic a lot. <laughs> um, he kind of has a waving Wally -E feel to him, um, only a little creepier. I don't know if you guys remember waving Wally -E from a couple years ago. Um, waving Wally -E was one of my favorite animatronics. Now I know that there was some mixed emotion about that animatronic. A lot of people thought it was boring, just web, but look. I think Waving Wally was super creepy because, yes, he did just stand there and do that really weird, slow, robotic wave, but he also had that really old-fashioned clown look, and then his noises were like old-fashioned clown music and like children laughing kind of like this one. Um, and I thought that he had the glowing eyes too. Waving Wally was a creepy animatronic, I thought. Uh, I always wanted to get one, but didn't know about it until they were already gone. But Cuddles is uh, is is hitting for me. Seriously, um, let's take a look at that video one more time. Come with us. We will be having so much fun soon. Our favorite places are dark. Yeah, playing the kids' creepy music. The hands. Alleyways. I will tear yeah. your unhappiness apart and leave only joy. Yeah, that that's a winner. It's it's playing the same, you know, creepy old fashioned circus music, and the kids are screaming in the background, and those clown head hands. Yeah, guys, listen, ghoulies, cuddles, cuddles is one I'm gonna be looking for this Halloween season. He's retailing at two seventy nine, so he's up there. But I mean, for six point two feet and the creepy things that he's doing. And his giant head, I am totally in. And it looks like he says about five different things. It sounds like the same voice that does Wacky Mo and all the other clowns. Um, same actor that I think does a lot of those same animatronic voices. But Cuddles the Clown, Ghoulies, is definitely one that I am looking for this Halloween season. In fact, I think I'm going to go ahead and say that Cuddles the Clown is going to be my number one goal to see in store. I, I definitely want to see this animatronic. Um, I think these are some we are already familiar with. Here we got Evelyn Leach. I was not impressed with Evelyn Leach. I didn't. I don't. I don't get it. I don't get it. Uh, Little Daisy and the Maestro is a very cool animatronic. We did see one last season in store, but it was a little broken. Didn't work fully. I forget which video it was, but it's on the channel if you want to go back and check it out. Um, Ophelia is a favorite of mine. I do enjoy Ophelia. She was out last year. Um, Hunter's Haunted House, as I mentioned earlier, they had an Ophelia there, and I totally got um, excited about Ophelia, and I became a fan of that animatronic, so I might be looking for Ophelia this year as well, because she's only 160 bucks, and there's just something unsettling about uh, the Ophelia animatronic. Just the way the eyes go back and forth and that creepy head in the background. I mean, I'm a huge fan. Uh, now, who's this? The six-foot hooded phantom. I don't believe that's one that was out last year. Uh, retailing for two seventy nine. dollars Looks kind of, I mean, I really can't see anything to it. It's just uh, black and some green phantom-looking Grim Reaper type thing. Let's see what the description here says. 
Eerie LED light, a mysterious green glow pours from his face and hands. Sorrowful bell tolls as it speaks its final words. And it looks like it says about three different phrases. Um, so there's some options there um, as far as the phrasing is concerned. Let's take a look at the video for the six foot hooded phantom and see what it does. Your time on this earth has come to an end. I have come for your soul. Whether you sing with the choir invisible or wail with the demons of the underworld, I care not. Your soul is mine. Okay, I mean, yeah, that's pretty cool. Um, not bad for two seventy nine. dollars I, I, I think I like it better than some of the other ones that we've seen. Um, I like the voice, I like the phrasing, I like the creepy music, I think the movement's cool, the light is cool. Um, yeah, I, I'm down. I would love to see this animatronic in the store, um, to get a better impression of it. I, I think it's one I'm gonna end up liking. I don't know if it's one I'm gonna rush out and buy immediately or anything, but it's definitely one that I like and will look forward to seeing. If I'm gonna spend two seventy nine for an animatronic, though, it's definitely going to be, uh, Cuddles, yes. Cuddles. If I'm going to spend two seventy nine for one, it's, it's going to be Cuddles. For sure. Um, and it looks like that's about it, you guys. Uh, Six Foot Hooded Phantom was the last one, as far as the newer ones go, uh, for the 2022 Halloween season. So that was just a quick little um, look at some of the new animatronics that are going to be available this season at Spirit Halloween. Uh, definitely looking forward to seeing some of these more than others in the store. Cuddles the Clown is going to be on my radar, um, as well as a couple of the other ones. I like Dr. Illum. I thought he was pretty cool. Um, the Hooded Phantom was also pretty cool. And the, the Grabber Zombie. I like the Grabber Zombie. Oh, and Mr. Salty is another one that I'll be looking forward to seeing this year at Spirit Halloween. Um... But thank you guys for tuning in with us and checking out these animatronics and make sure that you are subscribing. That way we can get to 500 and do that giveaway. Um, also, you don't wanna miss the Halloween season coming up. We're gonna have a lot of fun this year. We're gonna be going to all the Spirit Halloweens in Northeast Ohio area. We've got our own animatronics and decorations that we're gonna be putting up, putting them in different places. Um, and then we're going to be doing a walkthrough of our stuff. We've got pumpkin carving we're going to be doing again. Also, we've got our Fright Night Theater movie nights that we do. If you like movie nights, we make a snack. We watch an old horror movie or sometimes new horror movies. Um, but we watch a movie, we make a snack, we um, laugh. We, kinda like, we do kind of like a mystery science theater type thing. So if you think that sounds fun, there's a link to Fright Night Theater on this channel. It's my other channel where we do all that movie night shenanigans. But don't hesitate to hit subscribing to the Voina Experience because once we hit 500 subscribers, we're gonna do a giveaway. We would like to get that before the end of Halloween season. I don't know what that prize will be yet. Um, I know it won't be an animatronic, but we will be picking something from Spirit Halloween, a prop, costume piece, something cool, I don't know. Uh, so stick around. Hopefully the next time we'll do a video, we'll be able to get inside a store and look at some cool preliminary decorations. <laughs> but until then, thank you so much for watching, ghoulies, and we'll see you later on the Voina Experience. Bye.